Hello everybody and welcome back to Kato. My name is of course Constantine and we were left off in the previous episode. We just made our way through this cave and made our way to a brand new location. And this looks really interesting. Hmm. I definitely want to go ahead and check out this house at the bottom here and, this is, and see what this is all about. Including seeing what this is. This is more like a marsh. A path back to the grassland just across the river. Huh. Interesting. Am I going to be able to get back to the grasslands and to the people that I uh, already chat with? But look at the house in the woods here. Huh. What is this place? The little cartographer. What? After being let out of the wild woods, the little cartographer arrived at a strange building hidden amongst the trees. Wait. What? Somebody's narrating what I'm doing? <laughs> She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw. What? I'm curious if I was to do anything else. Was this going to say something different? Just then, the store tender entered. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah, there's that darn book. I've been looking everywhere. It's a good one, eh? I was totally riveted. Couldn't put it down. And then when I did, I forgot where I put it. <laughs> Ghost lilies? Bear hugs? Farting sheep? What an adventure! Well, clearly you have good taste. Welcome to the story challenge. When night is defined, you must have a nose for knowledge. I'm the story tender, and I take care of our rather unique library. You'll find lots of love here, and our stories are always changing. In fact, they've been changing rather quickly for us of late. I was just in the middle of sorting some bugs, but these old bones could use a break. Let me show you how things work around here. Man, this is starting to be really interesting. And this is the desert wing of the Shallots. Not to be confused with the desert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Like I mentioned, each wing contains stories related to a specific area of the world. I recently started reading a good one in this very room. It was about an old lady searching for her granddaughter in the desert. I know, right? What a good premise. When I left off, the granny was getting a bit exhausted. <laughs> I can see you're excited about learning. Oh, to be a curious young mind again. Well, off you go then. Have a... Have at it at these books. I'll be in the writing room. Just let me know if it can be of any assistance. Huh. This is uh, pretty intriguing though. Destination Desert. And this one is Destination Searching the Sands. What? There was sand as far as the eye could see. It was inescapable. Between your sheets, on your skin, in your sandwiches. <laughs> When the sandstorms were their most fierce, whole camps would be buried. Routes leading back to the grasslands and other neighboring regions will disappear. These paths could be found again by uh, intrepid adventurers or, at times, unwitting wanderers. Hmm. The desert could be a harsh place and was home to a resilient nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life, often confounding the flora and fauna. And within the tumult, a wizened woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by the storm and yearned to be together. Are you kidding me right now? What's up with this room though? Where is this one taking me to? I don't even know. But it does look like I can combine rooms together, right? Oh no, never mind. We got to a brand new one. Look at that. Second floor. Hey, uh, welcome to the writing room. This is where all of our stories are created. Though I, I can't tell you how. It's not a secret. I, I just don't know. No one knows. <laughs> that thingamajig over there crunches them out and has been for as long as I can remember. My job is to tend to the stories and that's good enough for me. If you'd like to know more about the story chalet, this is the room for it. I keep some other favorites here, too. Hmm. The enigmatic story, look at that. Deep in the forest in an unmemorable corner sits the story chalet. This peculiar building can be tricky to find when you're looking for it, but easy to stumble across when you aren't. It houses a remarkable library of books overseen and catalogued by a story tender. These mysterious tomes are endlessly updated by an unseen hand, documenting stories and cultures around the world. The building itself is an architectural marvel with a deceptively simple facade that obscures its more sophisticated interior. 
Huh. Can I get to this one? A book lies open on the desk. Nearby, a typewriter taps steadily on its own. Spooky. Their people served an essential function to chart the land. Nothing any changes and shift over time immemorable. They travel by airship quietly, observing from high above, rarely disturbing the people below. Their navigation skills were peerless, passed down through the collective memory of their ancestors. Simply, they were cartographers, by trade and by blood. Hmm, I mean, that's exactly where I am, right? The grasslanders found endless ways to improving their lives through clever applications of plants. Using an amalgam of uh, different rubber plants, they created a new type of footwear. These magic boots could be stretched to fit any size foot and raise the running speed of its wearer. The last known pair awaits someone bald enough to spot to sport them. So we're in the grassland wing of basement two of the story chalets. Hmm. Wait, this one is not over. Read again? Uh, no. It still had light in it, that's why I was uh, curious about it. I'm guessing it still has like those shiny lights on it, just in case you're trying to figure out where you're supposed to look for those boots. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to find those boots eventually. Nomads by nature, the people of the grasslands typically migrate once a generation. They travel to barren lands, bearing seeds and ancient irrigation techniques. The grasslanders are deeply atoned to their flora, listening to the voices of the earth and coaxing its growth through song. By the time the next generation migrates, the land they leave behind is a fertile paradise. Good night, sleepy sheepy. Sympathy for the red devils. Ganga style. <laughs> Battle of the Sore Potato. Traditional. Begonia boop. Monkar's mournful melody. Hey there, Dahlia. <laughs> Where are those though? I don't really get it. So the grasslands found endless ways of improving their lives. Using the yada yada yada, these magic boots could be stretched to fit any sizes. The last known pair awaits someone bold enough to support them. Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement 2 of the story chalet. Aha, so maybe I'm supposed to go in the basement? Hmm. An inky beige liquid. Is that ink? Entrance, first floor. Is this not gonna be the basement? The basement door? I don't want to read again now. There has to be a way to get to the basement door, right? Let me just have a chat with this fellow. Maybe he's gonna tell me. I don't know. Or maybe this is the door? When in doubt, ask a book. <laughs> uh, when in doubt, ask a book again. Hmm. I mean, how am I supposed to go to the basement though? Interesting. These doors don't seem to be like... Oh, maybe this is where I'm supposed to figure it out, yeah. Can I go to the basement through here somewhere? I don't even know. What about this one? This room looks kind of weird. I think it does have like an opening over here, yeah, that I can access like that. Huh. So this is the second floor. And this is probably also the second floor, right? No, actually I think this is the main entrance. Although I would love it if I could actually go to the... To the basement somehow. Am I in the basement now? How am I supposed to make like a basement? <laughs> I just want to create like a basement area. I would love if I could do that. Hmm. So when it's taking me over here. When in doubt, ask a book. That one is taking me to the second floor. Uh, yada yada yada. These magic books will be strange. The last known pair awaits someone 
someone bold enough to support them. Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement two of the story chalet. Basement two of the story chalet. Hmm. So this one is taking me at the bottom here. And if I go through this way, this one is just taking me outside. So I think what I'm supposed to do here... Is this? Huh. So this is basement 1. Ah, so from here I gotta get to basement 2. There we go. But I think I gotta do that. So I opened up the door for the basement. Right? Basement 2. Ah, that's gonna be the basement 2. So I gotta open up basement 2. Entrance floor. Wait, I think I I think I kinda messed it up. Hmm. It's gonna be second floor. Yeah, I definitely messed it up. So never mind. Basement two. So that's gonna be entrance first floor. Basement one, that's what this one said. So what if I get this one here? There we go. And I put this one here. I think we got it. There we go, there's the boots. Awesome, we figured it out. And we finally got the boots that wanted. Awesome. Oh my god, how fast I am. Are you kidding me? We're so fast now. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, nice boots. I, I didn't notice them when you first arrived. They look like they can get you whatever you need to go. <laughs> yep, it definitely feels like it. And I love it. Oh, we can now read this book. With her fancy new boots, the little cartographer knew that nothing could stop her. She would head out across the river and find her way to the desert, where she hopes her grandmother waited. Hmm. So is my grandma gonna be on the other side here if I just hop on like that? That's kind of weird. Trail to the grasslands. Return to the grasslands? Ah, uh, yes. I think I'm making my way back through all the previous locations. Hey, welcome back, little wood sp sprites. We were worried when you disappeared. Did you happen to see the ghost Lily? Nope. Ah, uh, well, I figured I'd ask. Monkar will be sad to hear it. I think he was still holding out hope. But everyone still be glad to uh, have you back. Though I kind of know that look in your eyes. Are you on your own secret mission now? I think I am, yeah. <laughs> hmm, you're looking for somewhere sandy. I don't know of such a place, but sometimes Mo, the shepherd, arrives home covered in sands. Interesting. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to find Mo, the shepherd, and uh, ask him about it? Yeah, probably that's it. So let me try to find Mo. Thank you very much for the tip, buddy. Let me see if I can figure out where Mo is, where Mo is though. Uh, if I keep on going straight up ahead, there is this lady right over here. Hey, welcome back. I'm glad to see you're safe. Perhaps we can wriggle the students with your travel sometime. Uh, maybe. Uh, let me make my way to the bottom then to have a chat with... Actually, hold up. Before I do that, is there any way I could chat with these fellas? Hmm. It doesn't seem like they are in their houses, so... Maybe not. Alright then, in that case, let's just keep on going. I think we are good to go. <laughs> this guy is always sleeping. What? My, my sheep! Have you seen my sheep? <laughs> Wait, uh, all my sheep are here. <laughs> 
Why did you just wake me up? Hmm, where do I get Sandy? Don't tell my dad, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I just woke up that way. Maybe I can show you when I'm sleeping? I'm wide awake now, but perhaps there are probably some plants that can knock me out. But I I'm no plant expert. <laughs> this means I'm supposed to go all the way to the top probably and uh, chat with the plant expert. And maybe she's gonna tell me what type of plant that I need in order to get this fella to sleep again. So let me just have a chat with her. Teacher always knows best. Teacher always knows best. Aha! Uh -huh. So the plant expert is actually the teacher, never mind. So in that case, let me have a chat with the teacher. Hi, Yen! Oh, uh, are those new boots? You're certainly making good time in them. <laughs> but you must be tired from running around so much. Children, what plants can we use to help our friends sleep soundly tonight? I know! Pick me! It's not a competition, everyone can answer. I think each of the children has something to tell you. When you gather the plants, put them inside the pot. Oh, look at that, he just gave me a pot! Which means I gotta ask with these fellas. A dozing daisies. They slowly nod and make everyone around them tired. There are a bunch planted near the circle roads. Hmm. Slumber stalk. Its stems have a gentle fragrance that makes everyone sleepy. It grows in the center of the field of yellow leaves. And the whisper grass. When the wind blows through it, sounds like a bunch of people going shh. I saw some at the mouth of the river. Hmm. At the mouth of the river. Is this the mouth of the river? Let me just check real fast. Yeah, this is definitely not going shush. <laughs> maybe we know maybe Mo knows where Mo goes. He should be. He should be in his uh, normal place, I guess. Oh, look at this fella. Hey, you? Hey, tell me, you saw it, young sapling? Tell me you saw the ghost lily. No, I'm sorry. I was just so excited when it appeared. And since you disappeared right after, I, I thought you may have found it. Uh, oh well, it will bloom again, eventually. <laughs> Alright, buddy, um... Hmm... So this one's gonna be a little bit weird, though. You can find uh, the dozing dozies, or couldn't find it. See how the roads make a circle? The daisies are nearby. What? The road makes a circle? Hmm. I mean, it does make a circle if I put it like this. Just like that. It's really not making like a real circle. Oh, it did make a circle. There we go. Interesting. And the flowers are right over here. There we go. We got them. Perfect. All right, so that's done. You found them. Don't show them to me, though. I want to stay up late. <laughs> Alright, so we got these ones. Next up. Uh, grows in a field of yellow leaves. You know, like the ones that Auntie Tuya tends. Hmm. Which means I'm supposed to grab and do that. There we go. We got them. Awesome. Alright, this one is on. And I'm guessing these are the ones. Perfect. And ultimately, it's the one with the river, but I gotta figure it out. There's some whisper grass by the mouth of the river. You know, right next to both the river and the open ocean. Right next to the river and the open ocean. The mouth of the river. What? Hmm... Right next to both the river and the open ocean. So maybe I'm Ah, oh, there we go. That is interesting. So we just made a new piece here that we can work with. Which means the river can go this way now. 
Okay, then also make use of this thing right back there. Man, this was uh, really interesting. Definitely unexpected. Hold up, buddy. Let me put these things back together here. Just like that. Alright, and I think we are all good to go. Uh, the thing is, I gotta make my way to that side somehow. So, um, let me do this instead. Let's figure this out, because this part I'm not gonna need. Actually, hold up. What part did you just spawned in? It was this one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that one. So... Go with that. That, um... Of course, this is not mandatory what I'm doing right now, but I'm just uh, wanting to make this look pretty. Why not? Why not? All right. Awesome. We got it. Now, let me make my way and grab the final plant that's going to be right next to the river. We changed quite a bit of stuff there. Of course, it's not mandatory to do all this stuff. I guess I'm just doing it just because I want the map to look all nice. And I got to follow this one to this side. And look at this. We found them. There we go. Next up, I suppose uh, I gotta maybe cook them somehow, make like a tea back at home at the camp, and then bring it back to that fella, right? This is it. Smells like a butt to me. Gross. <laughs> Shh, you found that. The children are all so knowledgeable about plants. I'm so proud. All right, let me make my way to the house then, because I feel like I am supposed to use this in order to make a... Uh, T right? Maybe like right over here. Mixed grass tea, it smells like everything. I mean, it doesn't like a, a pot of shimmering cabbage, no. Alright, well in that case, I think I'm just gonna make my way then to the shepherd. Uh, and this fella is going to be all the way to the bottom. And probably he's gonna tell me what I'm supposed to do, or maybe I'm just supposed to give him the uh, flowers, I don't know. I do like the I do really like these boots though because they make it so fast. Wide awake! <laughs> Flowers for me and the sheep? Hmm. How thankful. Or how thoughtful. More flowers. You you're really um oh, he's falling asleep, look at that. Zoiling us. <laughs> and the final one. There we go, it worked! Ah, and he's sleepwalking, taking me to a brand new location. Are you kidding me? This was truly something. Look at that. Would you like some more tea, Penelope? <laughs> All right, well, I think we're ready to go in the next location. Whoa. Quick learner. And of course, we got to a brand new biome over here. And this one is going to be a very sandy one. Really curious to explore this one a little bit and see what it's all about. Alright guys, anyway, that being said, thank you all very much for watching yet another episode of Kato. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And when we come back to the next one, we are going to be uh, going exploring a little bit more. Uh, and of course, in the next episode, we are going to be exploring the deserty area. Uh, because this one is definitely a brand new area that we haven't explored before. I'm really excited to see what I'm about to find out over here, including, look at this, two brand new map pieces. And of course, a bunch of new people around here that we haven't explored before. All right. Anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like down below. If you didn't, dislike, that's fine. And if you guys are new here to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that because it's completely free and you guys can enjoy a lot of content that I create every single day. And I'm pretty sure you're all going to enjoy it. And that being said, stay safe out there and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye, everybody.